exactly what percentage of hair do people keep when they use the system? Yeah, so that number really varies. Um, in our study with all types of breast cancer, the hair retention rate was 50%. And what we saw is that it really depends on two big factors. Um, one is the fit of the cap, and two is the type of chemotherapy. And so there are certain chemotherapies, like there's a chemo called paclitaxel that's usually given on a weekly basis. With that chemotherapy in both the big U.S. clinical trials, the hair retention rate was 100%. And we define um, hair retention by losing less than 50% of your hair and not needing a wig. So people did have hair thinning, but they didn't feel like they needed a wig. And they, when they went out in public, they felt normal, right? Now, there is a chemotherapy called anthracycline. So these are drugs like adriamycin. And in our study, the hair retention rate was around 20% with that drug. But there was a couple studies that came out after, and this is why I say the order matters, showing that if you sequenced a drug like paclitaxel prior to the anthracycline, that the hair retention rate was closer to 40%. And the thought among the people in the field, including me, is what happens is when you wear that cap for 12 times, like you would with paclitaxel, and it's more effective with that chemo, that you get really good at using it, you get better at fitting it, there's less gaps. And so I really do think that it has to do with the fit. And so when I am giving chemotherapy to patients, and I'm a breast cancer specialist, I do use the group of drugs called taxanes, which includes paclitaxel first, and then I use the drugs of anthracycline second, and I have noticed significant improvements in hair retention rates. And um, I've, had a, I've had a few patients who, even when they lost hair, they kept using it even though they needed a wig. And anecdotally, we've seen in our practice that you see hair regrowth faster. And there was a Japanese study that was presented at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Conference last year. And it showed that, that women had their hair grow in much faster and much thicker if they use these devices after completion of chemotherapy. Hmm. So if you're sequencing the chemotherapy, so th these would be patients that would already be scheduled to get both of those different kinds of chemotherapy. Correct. But you're just giving one for, so are you saying that you give the paclitaxel the full course of that first and then a full Yeah. Yeah, so the order doesn't really matter, um, but a lot of people are just kind of stuck in their routines and ways. So a lot of practices give the um, anthracycline first, and there's not really a medical reason to have to use that sequence. 